friends. Welcome to another In the Kitchen with Robin T. We're here today. We're going to make up some quick and easy pork chops. Hey guys, Broccoli Rob here. I uh, just got in from work. Uh, it's a weeknight. As all you all know, and you all are in the same boat as I am. 12, 14 hours a day. So when you get home, you don't want to be playing games, making a big dinner. Very simple. Very delicious pork chops. Now, you could pan sear them and throw them in the oven. You can bread them and throw them in the oven. You can stuff them and throw them in the oven. I am doing everything on top of the stove. We have some seasoned flour. Flour is seasoned with garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper. We have some bone-in pork chops. For this, bone-in is the best. I'm just going to dip them into the flour, as you can see. Shake off the excess into a fry pan that's got olive oil in it. Don't throw that flour out, you may need it. Because I said so, that's why. Okay. All right, so we're back. After three minutes, I flipped them over. Three minutes again on this side, then we're going to take them out and let them rest. All right, so we're back. Three minutes each side, now we're going to take them out. We're just going to let them relax or rest. They're tired. They need to rest. Yeah, they, they're tired. Okay. How little do they know? All right. Chicken stock. We're gonna let that re reduce down a few minutes. Oh, don't worry. The good stuff's coming. Turn the heat down a little bit. All right, chicken stock reduced down a little bit. I'm going to throw a little bit of flour in there. This is the seasoned flour that we season the pork chops in. Thicken it up a little bit. Lumps will go away, I promise. Okay, now comes the good stuff, buttermilk, yum, 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 yum. And what you're going to do here is you're making a gravy, that's what you're doing. Didn't think you could make a gravy, did you? Well, guess what, you just did. You're going to let that go for a couple of minutes. We'll let that reduce a little bit, then we're going to put the pork chops back in here, cover them, and let them finish cooking. We shall return. All right, so now we have the, the pan gravy going. We're going to stick the chops back in there. Hey, chops, back in the pot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chops are in, pan gravy's going, cover it, let them go for a few minutes, and then we're going to turn them over and finish them off. Done. We will be done. Okay, so, we're back. It's pretty good to me. Alright, we're going to finish it off. Here is the extent of the slicing and dicing for this recipe. I think anybody can handle this. A little parsley. Now be quiet. I'm gonna put the parsley on there. Well, maybe it's a little bit more than a little. But 
Whatever. Give him a flip. Ooh, baby. All right, guys. There it is. Pork chops and the gravy. Yes, they you made. Now, what you could do at this point if you wanted to, if you've been following, you know we have veggies already done in the refrigerator and we have potatoes done in the refrigerator that can go into the microwave or you can take your pork chops out of this pan, keep the gravy hot, throw the veggies into the gravy, get them warm, throw the potatoes into the gravy, get them warm. You don't even need the microwave. Simple, fast, delicious, easy. See you guys. Have a good night.